Raiders lost last night comes with a lot of questions about the team's future as they move into their new home in San Francisco next season. KPX 5's Ann Makovic is live at the new Chase Center with some of the speculation and details. Ann. Yeah, I'm here at what promises to be a glitzy new arena, Kenny, once it opens here in Mission Bay later this year. But yeah, a lot of questions on people's minds right now. What kind of Warriors team will be moving in here next season? We the North are now we the champions. Last night's loss dashed the hope of a three-peat and brought the second catastrophic injury of a Warrior star this week. Clay Thompson tore the ACL in his knee, and on Monday, Kevin Durant ruptured his Achilles tendon. This is going to present a ton of challenges for the Warriors. There's just no doubt about it. We talked to 95-7, the game announcer Matt Steinmetz, about how both players are set to become free agents and the questions over whether they'll sign five-year contracts with Golden State. The reality is if they go into San Francisco without Durant, without Clay Thompson, they're not going to be the Warriors that we've seen the last five years. Even if they do sign with the Warriors, both Thompson and Durant will miss much of next season to rehab. And the recovery can be pretty variable, but um, these are both tough uh, issues to come back from, especially in uh, these basketball players who ask so much from their legs, their knees, and their ankles. Here at the new Chase Center, they're rushing to get ready to showcase the team we have. There are seats for more than 18,000 people, and San Francisco's mayor says plans for public transportation are still in the works. They are being refined and analyzed and discussed, and we are definitely, um, I feel good about what, what is being proposed so far. As for speculation on a team name change, she doesn't think they'll drop Golden State anytime soon. They're a Bay Area team. I, I, I don't think it's uh, fair to say, well, they're just a part of San Francisco. They represent so much um, that's great about our city. I mean, we can share. Now, another factor at play here is that most of the star members of the team are in their 30s, which in basketball terms is at your peak or even the waning side of your career. The Chase Center is set to open in September. Live in San Francisco, Ann Makovic, KPIX 5.